We're all connected to each other biologically, to the Earth chemically, to the rest of the universe atomically. I think nature's imagination is so much greater than man. He's never gonna let us relax, relax. Where things change all right, but according to patterns, rules, or as we call them, laws of nature. I'm just a standing on a planet. Really, I'm just a speck. I'm just a speck compared with a star. The planet is just another speck. To think about all of this, to think about the vast emptiness of space. Billions and billions of stars. Billions and billions of specks of beauty of a living thing. The atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. The cosmos is also within us. We're made of star stuff, and we are away. The cosmos can know itself across the sea of space. The stars are other suns. We have traveled this way before, and there is much to be learned. We're all connected each other biologically, to the earth chemically, to the rest of the universe atomically. Find it elevating and exhilarating to discover that we live in a universe which permits the evolution of molecular machines as intricate and subtle as we. I know that the molecules in my body are traceable to phenomena in the cosmos. That makes me want to grab people in the street and say, have you heard this? The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. The cosmos is also within us. We're made of star stuff. We are away. The cosmos and know it's all. There's this red speck waves all over in space. It's the light bounce around the room, going from one thing to the other. And it's all really, 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 but you gotta stop and think about it. About the complexity and really get the play. It's all really, 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 the inconceivable nature of nature. To think about all of this, to think about the vast emptiness of space. Billions and billions of stars, billions and billions of specks. The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it. Across the sea of space, the stars are other suns. We have traveled this way before, and there is much to be learned. We're all connected to each other biologically, to the Earth chemically, to the rest of the universe atomically. I think nature's imagination is so much greater than man. He's never gonna let us relax, 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 relax. We live in an in-between universe where things change all right, but according to patterns, rules, or as we call them. Laws of nature. I'm just a standing on a planet. Really, I'm just a speck. I'm just a speck compared with a star. The planet 
It's just another speck To think about all of this To think about the vast emptiness of space Millions and millions of stars Millions and billions of specks The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it But the way those atoms are put together is also within us We're made of star stuff And we are away The cosmos And know itself Across the sea of space The stars are alert And we have traveled This way before And there is much to be learned We're all connected To each other Biologically To the earth Chemically to the rest of the universe, we talk. Find it elevating and exhilarating to discover that we live in a universe which permits the evolution of molecular machines as intricate and subtle as we. I know that the molecules in my body are traceable phenomenon in the cosmos that makes me want to grab people in the street and say, have you heard this? The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. The cosmos is also within us. We're made of star stuff. We are away. The cosmos and know itself. Light bound around the room, going from one thing to the other, and this all really made, really, really made. But you gotta stop and think about it, about the complexity, and really get the play. This all really made, really, really made. The inconceivable nature makes you to think about all of this, to think about the best. Millions and millions of stars, millions and billions of specks. The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. The cosmos is also within us. We're made of star stuff, and we are away. The cosmos and know itself across. The sea of space, the stars are others, and we have traveled this way before, and there is much to be learned. Nature's imagination is so much greater than man. He's never gonna let us relax, 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 relax. We live in an in-between universe where things change all right, but according to patterns, rules, or as we call them, laws of nature. I'm just stuck standing on a planet. Really, I'm just a speck. I'm just a speck compared with a star. The planet is just another speck. To think about all of this To think about the vast emptiness of space Millions and millions of stars Millions and billions of specks The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it But the way those atoms are put together The cosmos is also within us We're made of star stuff And we are away The cosmos and know itself across the sea of space. The stars are others, and we have traveled this way before. And there is much to be learned. We're all connected to each other, biologically, to the Earth, 
chemically to the rest of the universe atomic. Find it elevating and exhilarating to discover that we live in a universe which permits the evolution of molecular machines as intricate and subtle as we. I know that the molecules in my body are traceable to phenomenon in the cosmos that makes me want to grab people in the street and say, have you heard this? The beauty of a living thing is not the atoms that go into it, but the way those atoms are put together. The cosmos is also within us. We're made of star stuff. We are a way 